All right, Missy Taylor writes, question. I have a lot, lots of baggage in my life. I've done a lot, uh, I've done a lot of inner child work and self-love and learning and healing in all relationships. When do I share my baggage without scaring someone off? When do I scare my baggage without scaring someone off? Great question. All right. So here's the thing. If your baggage is active in your life today, if your baggage is active in your life today, whatever that baggage might be, then I think it's important to be transparent early on because the worst thing that can happen, and ladies, think about this. You're dating a man. He doesn't say a word about his baggage. He romances you. He charms you. You sleep together. You start dating. And all of a sudden, he starts vomiting all of his problems. He starts vomiting all of his baggage because, and he vomits all of his trauma. And it's incessantly vomiting, 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 vomiting. How attractive is it to be with someone who is living in their baggage continually. It's not very attractive. Someone who's got drama, someone who's got a uh, complaint, someone who's not healed from their past, someone who's got a contentious ex, someone who has, you know, anybody who has chaos in their life, they don't have the foundation underneath them to build a solid relationship together. Now, in the case of what you shared, you said you've done a lot of healing to heal your baggage in your life, your, your, your trauma, your insecurities, your negative patterns, your limiting beliefs in your life. So I suspect you have a desire to share about your past with someone. Um, probably, and I'm going to be very blunt here. My suspicion is there might be, I'm not suggesting that this is an absolute, but there might be, excuse me, I just have to, um, a, a need inside of you to share this baggage. But if you've healed from it, is it necessary? Is it necessary? Here's my invitation for you. If it is not material to the relationship, then you can take your time sharing about that part of the past in your life. If it's not material to the relationship, if it's material, in other words, it could affect your relationship, then I'm a big proponent of discussing these sooner rather than later because the worst thing that can happen is to be with someone who vomits their baggage after you've gotten hooked to them, after you've become attached to them. And then if, again, if this baggage is active and material in your life, if it's not active and material and it's not going to affect the relationship in the future, then really, is there any need to share it? I mean, here's the thing. I once I, I have written on my dating profile. I want to be able to talk about everything. Um, I want to be able to wait a minute. What does it say? I want to be able to share everything in my life, but I don't have to share everything. You don't have to share everything about your life till this point. And it's really more about building new memories with each other, to build new experiences with each other, because that has more richness than talking about the past. So again, if you have genuinely healed from your past traumas, then there's really no necess necess necessity to bring it up. I just invite you to build new memories with someone. And that's worth, uh, at least that's my invitation for you. And I hope that helps out. So Missy, thank you so much for that question. Great question. Um, first time I really have heard that. So thank you so much. All right.